Alrighty gang, peak hurricane season is here. We are getting into the statistically busy part of the season. 75% of all activity occurs between August 20th and October 20th. Most landfalling US storms happen in the next six to eight weeks. And right now, it's ominously quiet. Now sure, we have Aaron skirting the Outer Banks and two or three other tropical waves out there, but all of them will miss land and go out to sea. And the oceans will go back to being quiet. Now is a good time to do some early preparation. Stock up on non-perishables and water before a storm threatens. Evaluate your home. See what your vulnerabilities are and what you can do to mitigate risk. And figure out what specific hazards you're susceptible to. Wind, surge, inland freshwater flooding. Early preparation is key. Now we do have a conga line of tropical waves out there, but I'm anticipating a quiet period after this next tropical wave or two. And the reason is tied to this packet of thunderstorms over the Indian Ocean and the Western Pacific. We call this the MJO, or the Madden Julian Oscillation. The MJO has eight different positions. We call them phases. Lately, we've been in phase two, and phase two is known to enhance tropical activity over the Atlantic via this lengthy chain reaction process in the atmosphere. And we did get a flare up of activity, but fortunately, most storms avoided land. In the coming weeks, the MJO might weaken a little bit, and subsequently the signal becomes murkier, meaning it's not really as useful in our predictions. I do anticipate, though, broad subsidence or sinking air over the Atlantic. That will likely suppress hurricane activity. And indeed, the models really don't have that much going on before like September 4th, September 5th. I think thereafter, we might see some weak ascent or upward motion, which might enhance activity. Around that same time frame, September 5th onwards, the long range European model suggests increased precipitation across the Bay of Campeche, the Western Caribbean, the Gulf, and perhaps off the Southeast US, which is just a, a broad signal that could favor increased tropical activity. And lastly, we have this bowling ball upper level low, pocket of cold air, low pressure, and spin aloft south of the Hudson Bay over Ontario, and it's causing northwesterly flow, swirling down cooler air over central parts of the lower 48, the Plains and the Mid-South. Next week will be rather cool and feeling a lot like fall. And what that will do will be to sort of set up a front near the Gulf Coast in about 10 days time, the leading edge of that cooler air mass. So cooler over the land, a little warmer over the Gulf. And I think along that interface, we might get enhanced convergence or the gathering of air. And sometimes, not all the time, not even most of the time, but sometimes that increased convergence and a little bit of vorticity or spin along a boundary can lead to seeds of tropical cyclones. You get these thunderstorm clusters that can sometimes sort of fester over the Gulf. That's something to watch in about 10 to 15 days time, certainly not anytime soon. So expect quiet tropics for the United States through September 4th. The second week of September, We'll see, and especially after September 12th, I do expect average to above average activity for the tropical Atlantic. Again, a lot can change, a lot may change, but these are our long-term expectations right now. We have a lull, don't get complacent. It's still very early in peak season. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.